Hey, happy new year. And before we look forward, I want to take a moment to just briefly look back and, and, and quite honestly, I just want to say thank you. As we entered into the Christmas season through Angel Tree, you helped 25 families. By the way, that's a total of 70 kids. We had over 314 tags that were picked up. We had a lot of online donations that have helped, and each family received at least $75 in grocery cards. So I just want to say thanks for helping provide Christmas gifts for so many. And our Christmas offering is helping children in Florida through our Extreme Bedroom Makeover Ian Edition. I had someone ask me if it's too late to be part of this, and it's not. You can donate uh, to be part of helping to make a difference in the lives of children. That link will remain open on our website uh, through January 15th. Now, as we peek into 2023, I want to remind you that Rich has... Uh, taken off on sabbatical. He will be gone until February 9th. And if you want to read more about his sabbatical and how you can be part of making it a great experience for him, there's a link in my email. I also want you to know that our prayer boards that are located in our worship center, they're being replaced the first week in January. Hey, thanks for allowing us to share in your prayers with you. First John 5 reminds us this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And we know that if He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of Him. So I'm going to ask if you would please take time to add to the new prayer boards what you're praying for, because we want to pray with you. And I hope you'll mark your calendars now for January 22nd. So this is kind of a heads up as we prepare for our legacy planning seminar. Everyone can agree that it's important to have a plan for your savings, for your home, uh, and for your children when, when you go to heaven. So, but it's interesting as many as 70% of us don't have an estate plan in place. I mean, we'd love to help you learn more about how to reduce taxes, save time and money for those that you leave uh, behind and designate a guardian for your children and establish a will or a living trust for your family. Now, we can't predict the future, but we can't plan for it. If your estate plan is outdated or you don't have one or you simply want to learn more about it, now's the time. In your will or living trust, you can ensure that your desires on medical decisions uh, guardianship of your children and distribution of your valuables, all of those wishes will be fulfilled. Now, we offered this last year and had a great response. So we wanted to offer it again for those who didn't get a chance to get this helpful information. So register today for our January 22nd Legacy Planning Seminar, and it'll be presented by our ministry partner, Christian Finance Resources. I hope you'll join Sandy and myself for this. Oh, and lunch will be provided and it'll start at 12.10. Okay, so I hope you'll join us this weekend. Several months ago, our teaching team was thinking through this whole year and our overarching theme is being changed by Jesus. So with that in mind, I noticed that the first day of the year would be a Sunday. And as I thought about what was important for all of us who are disciples of Jesus to get right, you know, just right out of the chute, it's an idea that I shared with you actually seven years ago. So as we start our year, I want to remind you that when we say disciple at MCC, we mean someone who is following Jesus and being changed by Jesus and committed to the mission of Jesus. And so this Sunday, I want to talk to you about chairs. You ever played musical chairs? <laughs> Maybe when you were younger, right? Maybe at a birthday party. You know, everyone is in a circle. There's one less chair than there are people. And someone plays music, and when it stops, you find a chair. Uh, when I was a student pastor, we played full contact musical chairs with our high school students, which just kind of removes the pretense of being polite. <laughs> I admit it was fun. Uh, I'm going to guess that most of us continue to play this, even as adults. We maybe just don't recognize it as the game. But as adults, we stand up, we move from this chair to that one, we, we stake our claim, and we want to be the last one sitting in the winning chair because we all know, we all know that where you end up sitting in life is a big deal. So as we sit on the edge of a new year, I want us to stop and think about where you're currently sitting when it comes to life, and even more importantly, where you're sitting in your relationship with God. Because, and I want to make sure you get this, where you end up sitting in life is a big deal. So, uh, so that's this Sunday. We're going to begin a new reading plan a week from now. So please take this opportunity to choose one of the YouVersion Bible reading plans that strikes you as interesting as we enter the new year. And whether you join us online or on campus, 
I'm looking forward to seeing you this weekend.